were all sentenced to death because of sin until Jesus showed up and died on that cross. When he was to die, mm. he died a certain death in accordance to the scriptures. Mm. He said, Behold, I am the God of all flesh. It is that ignorance of the word of God that has limited us. Hello viewers out there, this is Salvation Moments with David and with me on this episode is an honorable man, honorable Zach, but I will give him the privilege to introduce himself to us. Thank you, sir. Thank you. God bless you, my brother. I appreciate you, man. Uh, by the special grace of God, my name is David Idris Zacharias. I represent uh, the good people of the Dafera constituency. Yes. The center of Yala Kingdom. That's right. I'm from Kobe State. Wow. Yes. Honorable, thank you so much for the privilege of being here. So viewers out there, today we are looking at a topic. God, the great rewarder. Hallelujah. Yeah. So sir, you know, a lot of people, because of the situation of things, circumstances of life, storms of life and all sorts, some people are beginning to doubt. Is there God? Is God still real? Is God still in existence? And all sorts. But you know, the Bible says God is a rewarder. So I want to ask you, experientially, you personally, have you experienced this part that the Bible says God is a rewarder? Have you experienced it truly to buttress your point that truly there is God and God is a good rewarder? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, that is a very, you know, good answer. I mean, equations. Yes. And I'm going to answer you straight. That's right. Um, for somebody to doubt mm. in his mind that uh, is there God mm. or is God a rewarder mm -hmm. of those that believe Him? Yes. Yes. If you see me. Mm. David Idris Zakaria. Yes, sir. I am the evidence Glory to God. of people, part of the people mm. that God has rewarded. Right. Yes, mostly. And my yeah. entire life. Anything you are seeing today mm. is all about God. Yes. And uh, Woo. Thank I, you, Jesus. I really mm. uh, determined for that. Mm. It's not uh, a coincidence mm. that it happened to me like that. That's right. Like the questions some people are putting in place now that say, is God really I've been serving you. What is happening? Is God mm. going to reward you? Mm. Mm. Yes, I asked that question. Well, it's going to take me time mm. to answer your questions. But I will summarize. Thank you, sir. In the first place, I was born and uh, brought up as a Muslim. Oh my, God. my father, my mother were all Muslims. Mm. And uh, when I grew up in the family of Zacharias, mm. by the grace of God, I am a male child. Yes. A firstborn wow. in the family. Wow. And you can imagine the kind of responsibility. Yes, must be expected of you, so obviously. But I look back and check the background of my father hmm. who gave birth to me. That's right. And I see that there is nothing good, you know, around you. Hey. I make my father on a daily basis, you know, was uh, struggling to even feed the family. So talk of taking care of himself. Hmm. So that's what led me to Christ. Mm. I started thinking, how can a man live, you know, with this kind of life? Mm. There is nothing to show, to feed mm. a family, becoming difficulties, mm. to take care of himself, becoming difficulties. Mm. And this man is a, a hard-working person. Mm. 
My father go to farm in the morning, close late hours, mm. but still, there's nothing good Sorry. around him. Despite the hard work. Despite, despite the hard work. Mm. Yeah, so, so, and uh, as a first male child, follow him to all the places he labors uh, for him to take care of himself. I examine that there are a lot more to do, mm -hmm. a lot of things to do. That's right. And I have to start from the godly aspect of it. Praise God. Yeah, my father, even though he was not a Christian, he was God fearing somebody. Mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. He walked with his hands mm -hmm. and with his energy. Mm -hmm. But something, you know, still lacking. What is that? That yes. is the, this, uh, the aspect of God. That's true. Because you can be working and you can be also making money. Mm. But uh, without God, all those things still you know, remain in vain. So I decided to take a step. Being a pagan, mm. being a Muslim, mm. that is not an issue. Mm. But how do you mm. seek the face of God mm. concerning what you are doing? Yes, sir. So that's why it's my commitment as a Muslim, mm. I still do for that. Okay. We do research while we are working and we cannot uh, you know, mm. benefit what we are using our hands you know, to do. Yes. And I said, let me go to church. Because as a Muslim, I have praised, I have applied all the Islamic methods. He's not working. Uh, the third part is our own uh, traditions too. <laughs> <laughs> we have also applied that. It's not only me, myself and my father, yes. but including my mother. Mm -hmm. uh, so that led me to say, let, let me go to church. Wow. And when I get to church, I still put a condition to my, you know, accepting uh, Christ as my Lord. Wow, that's a serious thing. Uh, what are my conditions? You mean you give God conditions? Yeah, I give him conditions. <laughs> and I told him, I said, three months, if I have not seen changes in my life, <laughs> uh, then right. I will go back to Islam. uh, Islamic uh, religion again. I'm saying this because oh. I want people to hear me and know, oh. and also clear their doubt that God is real. Mm. Uh, up to today, and it's also a rewarder. Yeah, it's also a rewarder. Mm. And up to today, uh, uh, some of my friends are Muslim. Some of, some of my friends are pagans. Uh, they are like that. There are some people who give their life to Christ through uh, they are being around me, walking with me, associating Praise with God. me. So, no, I don't. I don't preach Christ to people. Praise God. I only tell people, look at my life. So, so you can pick anything from my Let life. Let the life do the preaching. Then you, mm. you decide on your own. Mm. On getting to church and give him that condition. That three months, God shows himself wow. as a God of signs and wonders. Praise yeah. God. You know. My concern was that I was working, but we cannot utilize the money. Uh -huh. My father was working, but cannot make use of the money. It's just like pouring water in yes, a basket. So, so that is that is it. But in that three months, I was riding a, an Okada, the same Abuja. The same Abuja. Yes, I was riding an Okada. <laughs> and uh, within that three months, I was taught in the church that if you are getting money, you pay your offering and you pay your tithes. So if you truly want to keep money, if it's money that is your problem, so this is our procedure, this is the process of making money. You want to be okay. <laughs> very rich. Mm -hmm. Well, as an Okada rider, you know how painful to ride Okada, especially in this town. Mm -hmm. I'm remitting to the owner of the machine 300. <laughs> 300 naira. Is it daily or weekly? It's daily. Okay. 300. It's 300 naira. Yes. But my expectations on a daily basis is 1,000. So, and I will make that 1,000 naira. If I make that 1,000 naira, I put 300 naira to the owner. 
Mm. The remaining 700 naira I pay my tithe. Mm. Out of it. And you were faithful? I was faithful. In that three months, mm. I was able to receive 3,000. That is in the year 2000. The year 2000? Yeah. That was 24 years back, but? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is the year I gave my life. June. Year 2000. That is the, the month and the year I gave my life to Christ. Praise God. And that three months, I saved 3,000. I also learned from the church and from the preacher. The preachers told me that when you earn money, there's what they call first fruit. Yes. Take it to your father. And I also biological father. Yes, was the father. your biological father. It's okay. That is the one he taught me first. Okay. And I took money out of that three thousand for the first time. Bought a something weird. It's a jacket. Bought it from Musi Market. And that is it two naira or two naira something like that. I can't remember the exact. And I folded it. By then there's nothing like food, so I folded it and I sent it to my father as a gift from the money and my father said wow for the first time how do you make it <laughs> so he kept that cloth there so the christmas of that year for the first time i traveled home to go and meet my family with money i think i traveled that year with six thousand that was big money yeah Six thousand naira, and I travel home with it. When I enter my father's compound, they give me a name because yeah, it will be a taboo. Or let me say, it was a taboo there for you to be a Muslim and go and change to Christian. That's what they call anybody who do that kind of step or who take that kind of step. Come away. So, so on getting to the village, they started giving me ah, what happened? What are you looking for? You that were born as a Muslim, they did they, name, they, yes. Islam, they name you, mm. they kill the ram because I said, say, relax. I have my own understanding. And I think that is how I started my life within my family there. Spending that money there. Mm. In that year, my father was so amazing. Yeah. I can tell anybody in the whole world that my father has not raised 5,000 naira okay. in his entire life before I met him. Right. He grew as he grown up uh, son. Before I met my father, he has not raised 5,000 naira. So coming home with 6,000 naira that year, it was amazing things it to It was me. like a breakthrough. And I said, well, if you get the money. So they give me name. Like as I told you, I'm going to summarize. Yes, my, because we're pressed on time. Yes. Um, they give me name. They said, no, it's not possible. I'm not sure your son has not gone, gone to join a uh, society <laughs> or cottage like that, like that. How comes he can make money to come home? We buy rice. We buy, for the first time, we buy he good in our family. So, well, as a father, he still accepted me, but he was washing. Uh, if I sleep, they observe the style of my sleeping. Maybe they think I'll wake up in the <laughs> night, started uh, Oh, you fly? Like, the morning, like, a court meeting or something. I come back to Abuja again, but not quite long. Right. After I came back from that Christmas, there's an announcement in the church. That if you know how to drive, they were looking for a driver in the church. And I said, well, I really want to know more about this God. Mm. So let me go apply. If they pick me as a driver, number one, it will give me more access to God. Okay. Uh, I want to remain in the church for this period. So your motivation was not money. It's not money. But to know God. I want to know God. That's a good and, one. Uh, what brought me to God is a change of life. Mm. So God has proved himself to me that he can change my life. Mm. Like the condition I gave to him, <laughs> he has fulfilled it. Mm. You understand? Nobody question God, but mm -hmm. if you truly, you say, ask me. Mm. 
That is the word of God. But bring forth your strong reason. reason. Yes. He said, ask me. You know what I'm saying? Isaiah 2, 18, there about. He said, come, let us sit down and raise it. So if you truly you not know, say, God, if you don't do this one for me, I'll kill myself for a while. Mm. No, that is not my condition I give to God. Mm. I tell God, truly, if you are the God that made heaven and earth, mm. that made me as a man, change my story. Let me know that, you know, any other elements, you know, are not like powerful like you. Yeah. So that is my condition I give to God, and he changed it. And I moved forward to start working in the church. Mm. My motive of going to work in the church is not just to make money, mm. but for me to know God. That's important. And in that period, if there is any prayer request in the church, mm. in our church, they will say, go and write your prayer request. What do you want God to do for you? Mm. Only three point of prayer that you are the present even up to this moment. Thank you for showing me yourself, God. And I want to know you more. Direct my step. This is my three point of prayer. Praise prayer. Hallelujah. Up to this moment. That is my prayer point. <laughs> and in that church, my story, you know, began to change. Gradually. From glory to, to glory. glory. Hallelujah. After two years, my father called me and I should come and take him to church. He called him my mother. Whoa! Yes. So <laughs> I they, love these facts. They called me. Thank you, Jesus. And they followed the me. They followed me to church. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They were also mocked. You know, by the people around us. But still, God still, you know, standing with us and doing whatever I want to do. Today, my father is still there, you know, healthy and strong. My mother is still alive, healthy and very strong. Two of them are worshiping Christ today. Thank you, Jesus. And their life has changed. All of us, our life has changed. He rewards those that are diligently seeking. I know I was committed to God in that time. I gave God and myself 10 years to remain in the church. <laughs> uh, 10 years, I said that time. Because I was 28 years when all this story started. Okay. And like the, you see, wasted years. So let me give them more. You <laughs> see the new things God is going to do, and God did it. Praise God. After 10 years, I think I have started stepping out. I go to know what they call purpose. Mm. Now that's what mm. I'm that's what mm. I'm driving. Mm. Mm. That's what mm. I'm driving mm. today. I'm mm. driving purpose today. Hallelujah. Uh, it's from the church I was taught how to go back to the society to give to them. Yes. Because the scripture said, go and say. God didn't tell us humanly to go and do any other things. He said, Pharaoh, let these people go that they may serve, serve me. And how do you serve God? Serve people around you. Mm. Christ said, love your neighbor. That's it. That's it. Mm. And when you love your neighbor, you are not loving that person. You are loving yourself. You are not even loving yourself. You are loving Christ. Mm. So I take that to my family. Mm. You know, I started everything from my family. Go to my family, started paying the younger ones school fees. Wow. For their step to the neighbors. Wow. You started from home. From home. Then you extended it outside. From the neighbor, to the community around me. Mm. Some of the people I pay their school fees, not 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 secondary school, nursery school, primary school, secondary school, they are now a graduate. Mm. They have all of them have gotten a job now. First country. So they are working. You serve people, you serve humanity. You understand? In the name of what? In the name of serving God. So that's why if I do things for you, I'm not doing it for you to pay me back. I'm doing it because God asked me to do it. And He gave me the grace to do it. So if I'm doing anything to anybody, I don't look back. 
and I'm not looking at that person, mm. and I'm not looking at the side doors. Because I have a set mind, within my set mind, God has you know, deposited His grace upon me to serve, to serve you. So He rewarded those that serve Him genuinely. Okay. Uh, before I became full politicians, I was telling people, I said, I'm not a politician. <laughs> They say, who are you, even though when you occupy the seat of uh, a political position? Political position. Okay. I told them, I say, yes, I'm a God servant. I say, God servant. So you are not a politician. I say, I'm not a politician. <laughs> so it takes us to argue about it. But some people don't know why I'm denying that. Later, I change my words. I say, a politician, you know, with God fearing. Okay. Yes, today God That's has helped me. That's a particular difference. Yeah. You decide to stand out. Stand out. Even if it means standing alone. Even if it means standing alone, sir. Praise God. And doing that is um, all about uh, what you are doing. Because in the government sector, you know, the difference is there. They want you to do what they want. But at the same time, it's contrary to you know, God's word. That is that is that is the difference between politician and godly, you know. A God fearing politician. politician. That's the difference, right? That's the difference. The difference, the difference is there. As we're okay. talking now, mm -hmm. a good example is that there's a pronouncement by the new president that we are going to give you, you know, a palliative to take you back to your people. Up to today, there are some people that have not done it. There are some people that have done their own recently. There are some it's people that the palliative team is it real? It's real. Okay. I did my own December. So that means the president has done his own part. And that is the first okay. you know, part. Okay. Yes. It's, it's stage by stage. Mm -hmm. The first stage he mandated us to do. I have done my own December. Okay. Yes. As he's released, I just go straight and do my own. So I think that is the difference. I don't keep things to myself alone. And uh, look at the government and look at God. I don't know whether you are getting what I'm saying. Very clear, very clear. Okay, look at the government and look at God. I tell people, before government there was God. So if I am advised, let's focus on God. Okay. Then government follow. Thank you. Yeah. Seek for the kingdom of God. God and first. And every other thing, including God. God. Yeah. It's an and addition. So it's one of my uh, mm. methods. The way I serve God and I serve people. Hallelujah. Yeah. Because of your time and also our time, yeah. um, this is wonderful. This is inspiring. You know, you know, in the system that we live in today, mm. it's obvious that mm. sometimes if you want to stand out, even if it means standing alone, yeah. there are consequences. Yeah. You may not have the opportunity of people coming back again. Mm. I know one and a two. Is it a, yeah, I do. I watched him one certain time on the national TV when he says he knows that this law, this bill that you want to pass, mm. eh, that whether he support or not, it will be passed because the majority has in support of it. He wants the public mm. and also God to be aware yeah. that he was not part of that bill. Mm. And that was his last time, that's last channel yeah. in that chamber. Mm. He wasn't voted for to get back to that point. Is it because of that? Uh, that probably, stage? probably, probably, I can't tell that God knows better. Mm -hmm. But what I want to tell you now is, what is your main motivation? Motivation. Is it the life after death? Or is it this, it's this early, early mundane reward that is your major motivation? Or you are looking ahead that someday you are going to check out 
mm. of this world. Because this world that we live in mm. is a temporal place. All of us, every one of us is going to give accounts of our life, the things we do in the secret and the things we do in the public. Even this position you are is a matter of trust that God entrusted in your hand. Yeah. So and you are going to account to God someday. Mm. So what is your motivation? That's what I want to know before we okay. wrap up on this segment. Thank you very much. Um, we are we are human, mm. and we have a different understanding. But me, like you have asked me questions, I don't regret what I'm doing today. Praise God. And my first motive is for me to have eternal life. And uh, you know, with my standing with God, yes, sir. I can't tell anybody, which I have told myself, that I know what my tomorrow will will be. Mm. Yes, that is after death. I know where you're going and what I will be. It's okay. Uh, yeah, that means I'm telling you and I'm telling the whole world that I'm going to exist mm. after death. Praise God. And it comes from where? It comes from what we are doing now. Mm. Yes, it comes from what we are doing now. What are we doing now? Are you genuinely, faithfully mm, doing the right things before people? Or before God, mm. that's what we're doing now. Mm. Mm. It's not. It's not all about materialism. Mm. You know what you kept, all the investment you have made. You can, you know, buy the whole world and keep. My brother, one day all those things will perish. They will not bury them with you. And now are you going to? Yes, them. but Why? there are some things that you do, mm. and your name will keep ringing. Yeah. Not in a yeah. bad way, but yeah. in a good way. That's true. Yes, that's what I'm So I'm not around what will people say about you. You know, Honorable, you know that uh, in this life, yeah. when you leave this world, you'll be remembered for either of these two things. Yeah. One, you can be remembered for the good things you yeah. did, yeah. or you'll be remembered for the problem yeah. that you have caused. Yeah. So as we wrap up, there are people watching you mm. right now. Yeah. Some of them are going through those stages, those hard stages that you went through. Mm. And some of them are at the verge mm. of giving up. Yeah. Even believers too. Yeah. There are people that are at the verge. Mm. What words of encouragement mm. do you have for them as you wrap up? Okay. Yeah, in that aspect, mm. <laughs> you know, I'm, uh, if you come to fact I can be very bold and very you know, let me call it stubborn. Mm. I tell people fact as you like take it. If you are hoping in God to better your life, mm, mm. stay there <laughs> and do what is right. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Bible say he daily loaded us and benefits. benefits. Sure. I mean sure. But you must do something daily. Mm. It's not that because he said he do the daily leader as well. There are packages mm. he kept for every day, you know. And you now folded your hands. I say I believe God. Mm. No. Mm. If you believe God, like I said, I have told you my story. Yes. The day I went to church, the fall day I went to church. Yes. I was, yes. You know, I was uh, riding Okada. And it's the same Okada that then I drew to the church, park in front of the gate, and enter church. You understand? And after yeah. prayer, I still carry my Okada, go back to town to go and pick, you know, people. Because, yes. That's I didn't, I didn't sit down. So I'm, let me advise them if you are hoping or you are believing God mm. to change your story or to give you something or to better your life, mm, stay focused on God. Mm. Number one, don't, don't don't have double mind. Okay. Yes. He's, he's, he's God and nobody can change his thing. Mm. He's the one who can change your story. So stay with him. Do what is right before you. Have something to do. Mm. You understand? In the ministry, where we come from, the teachers what they call purpose. There's no any human being on the earth that was not born with something to do. Sure. Yes, God, sure. you know the author of confession. God sent 
people to this world to do something and take you know the report back to him sure. he said before you were born not even say before you were born he said before you were formed in the wounds of your mother he said i knew you and i have ordained you ordained you to do something there's something you must do not to do nothing not to do nothing so okay. locate your own locate your own the area i will emphasize don't like discriminate bible said despise not the day of the YouTube. little beginning oh. i started my own as a driver oh. and i'm still driving my boss today his name is pastor Dio. i'm still driving oh. him today anywhere he's going he can't call me david i asked him to call me his driver i can't tell anybody about it i don't need anything the only thing i still need up to today is still the same god oh. because if i have him i have everything so that is my word of encouragement with you. Once again, stay focused. Who control this God? Don't look unto men. See, when it is time for men to come to your assistance, they will help you. That is unknowing to you. And what is my prayer point there? I say, God, don't give sleep to those my helper. Yes. Yes. That's supposed to help me. Don't give sleep. That's right. So they cannot sleep. They will come to help you. Hallelujah. So be sincere to stay with this God in prayer, seeking His directions. God direct people. Yes, I'm sure. Yes, God direct people. If you want to take a wrong step, because you are so faithful, committed to Him, He will direct you. In the journey of politics, like we politicians, you know, we have many ways. But I don't follow that way. Thank you, Jesus. I don't follow, and he has been helping me. People have fought for me, for me to succeed. Some people have even started to fight me, but God fought the battle for me. Let's go. So, uh, in so many ways, or in the, any area, you may have your own. I'm advising you stay with God. It will take you there Amen. by His grace, because He has done for us. He do your own for you. Amen. Thank you, God bless thank you. you. Thank you so much, sir. Mm -hmm. Viewers out there, at this point of time, we're going to draw the curtain. But before we draw the curtain, we will use this opportunity to invite you to receive Jesus as your personal Lord and as your Savior. Yeah. You see, like Honorable just said, you heard it from his mouth, that everything that he is today is God. You know? We can't do nothing except with the yeah. good God. Yeah. So wherever you are at this point of time, maybe you might think that your intelligence, your physical strength and all that is what made you who you are or put you in that place that you are. You're wrong. It is God that puts you there. It is God that strengthens you. It is God that gives you wisdom. It is God that protects you. It's God that does everything for you because He is a merciful yeah. Father and is a God to all man. But you see, God is also a God of justice. Yeah. He cannot deny His justice. That's why He sent Jesus to die on that cross of Calvary. And on the third day, He rose Jesus up back to life. Yeah. So that whoever believes this will be justified. That way, God will not be a just God. So wherever you are at this hour, why don't you place your right hand on your chest and lift your left hand up as a sign of surrender. That you are saying, Jesus, I want you to be the Lord of my life from now henceforth. I've received your word today. Oh, thank you, Father. Pray this prayer after me now. Say, dear God, dear God, I thank you for today. You for today. I believe in my heart that Jesus, Jesus Christ died on the cross for me. And on the third on the third day, you raise him up back, back to life for my justification. my justification. Now I am saved. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father, for the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, I am praying. Amen. We are so excited in the studio for your salvation. And I know not everybody is excited for your salvation and the angels of God are throwing a party because of your salvation. On the screen right now, there's a contact there. Please pick up that contact. Call us. We have a free material for you to help you grow 
spiritually so that you can become mature in Christ. And I also want to advise that you get connected, planted in a Bible-believing church that is nearest to your location. And I believe that the Spirit of God is going to order your step into such a church. Please do so. And I know that God will bless you mightily in the name of Jesus. I want to thank you, thank you my for brother. honoring God by coming. I appreciate you so much. Thank you. I will look forward to hear good, good news thank you. about you thank in you. the name of Jesus. So viewers out there, we are drawing the curtain now, but don't forget, Jesus is coming very, very soon. Keep watching Salvation Moment today. See you same time next week. Bye-bye.